It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another video. Today doesn't follow the usual structure of my videos. Um, this one's actually a bit of a gameplay video, but it also has this here webcam pointed at my keyboard, and you'll understand why. Um, the keyboard being the proof that I mentioned in the title. Uh, hopefully this video will be called something like, um, the boost is the worst thing that ever happened to Sonic, and here's why. Uh, or something non-clickbaity like that. Uh, but there we go. Uh, let's see uh, what we are doing. So basically, uh, like how I make a perfect circle with my keyboard uh, cursor keys, I'm going to play this level here, which is Green Hill Zone, uh, but it's the boost version, which means it's Act 2. I think it's Act 2. Oh yeah, it says it at the top there. And uh, I'm going to play the level in a way that just shows how much of a problem the boost system is for Sonic games. I'm going to play it with this finger here. Go. Yeah, I'm seriously going to play this with one finger the whole level and not only is it one finger but you'll see just how much of a problem that boost system is and I believe it sort of ruins the gameplay for a reason I had to switch my caps lock off there missed da -da -da, da -da -da. yeah seriously I'm just gonna press this one key most of the time <laughs> it's a bit of a boring video uh, but uh, it, it's there for a reason no I'm not gonna press B to go under obstacles I'm just gonna keep Keep boosting forward. And there we go. Da -da. You can see I'm literally not doing anything else. Um, it, it, it's, this video is essentially to show just how little interactivity there is in a boost Sonic game. Watch this section here. I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard. And tap. I literally tap the boost button once and this entire section is done for me. I know it's a grinding section and a lot of the games have grinding sections where you don't really have to press much but at least you have dodging and all of that and uh, of course later on in the game that happens but even in the first level in other games in other Sonic games where there's no boost this can't be done this is literally impossible without the boost mechanic watch this uh, let me let me land first there we go now carry on um, and here the uh, release And there we go, and boost. And now we now we come to a rail section. You can see just one finger. <laughs> one finger for the whole level. I'm gonna get hurt here. Mm -hmm. Boost, and then boost, jump, jump, boost. There we go, that's the whole level completed. Quite literally. Like this is this is the end of the level. I'd call this the end of the level. I'm not going to press B. I refuse to press B. And that's the whole level. One more time I'm going to press the A key. I wonder if this video will get demonetized for the music. I don't even know anymore. Like literally everything demonetizes some videos sometimes. Sometimes I'm using royalty free music in like two videos in a row, the same music, and it just gets demonetized, like one of them will get demonetized and the other won't, and I do exactly the same thing in both videos. But yeah, this is the worst bit about it. I got a perfect score. I didn't even touch the flipping directional keys, I basically used one finger the whole time, and I got a perfect score. Can you imagine trying to do that on Emerald Coast Zone in Sonic Adventure 1? Can you imagine trying to do that in uh, City Escape on Sonic Adventure 2? Can you imagine even trying to do that on that coast level at the start of the uh, Sonic Heroes? Which, by the way, I really like the game Sonic Heroes, even though a lot of people don't like it. It's very fun and very glitchy, but very fun. It's not possible without the boost mechanic. And that's because the boost mechanic itself literally makes the levels... Uh, it forces the level creator to allow for the boost which means for the most part you're going to be holding the boost key and maybe doing one or two dodges every now and then other than that the whole game has to be guided like if you want to try playing sonic sonic generations without pressing that boost key the game becomes boring it, it's that integrated into the system because the levels are just not structured like you know like levels they're just structured like a movie basically and that pretty much ends this video. Hopefully that shows you why I despise the, mo mo the boost mechanic and I personally believe it is what literally ruined all of Sonic's uh, the gameplay, just all of Sonic. It's the boost. 
That's why Sonic Adventure was considered so good. And that's why, technically, there's more interactivity on the first level of Sonic 06 than there is in Sonic Generations, a game considered to be a good Sonic game. That's the end of this video. I rest my case nicely on this uh, comfortable mouse mat that I have. Uh, not mouse mat, but rest rest. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.